Well, if you drink coffee, and boy, I'm addicted, but anyway, you know it makes your heart beat faster, but according to a new study, it may also be good for your heart. The Kaiser Permanente Division of Research in California reports the people drinking four or more cups a day experience an 18% reduction in their risk of being hospitalized for an irregular heartbeat. Dr. Sahil Parikh is a cardiologist at the UH Case Medical Center in Cleveland. Good morning to you, doctor. Good morning. Unfortunately, I, I don't drink four cups of coffee a day, that's for sure, but I've got to have one or two. Do you buy this study as being good for people who drink four or more cups a day? Well, the study shows that patients uh, in, in this prospective uh, observational study had reduced uh, rates of admission to the hospital for regular heart rates. There are a number of studies over the past decade or so that have shown similar results but were just not as large. So I think this study confirms those prior studies. Can, can I just ask quickly where this study came from? Any chance it was commissioned by a coffee company? or? Uh, in fact, it was supported by the Robert Wood Foundation uh, as well as the uh, Kaiser Permanente Medical Foundation. So we think the, okay. the data are, un, are unfettered by other bias. S so is this surprising to you? Do you think coffee's a good thing, better than being a bad thing? Well, I think that the conclusions from the study should be that coffee is not harmful and does not promote arrhythmias. The study showed that in patients who drank four cups or more of coffee, now remember a cup is eight ounces, not necessarily the size of the cup you might get from your local coffee house. Uh -huh. In those patients, they didn't have additional or higher rates of admission to the hospital. Uh, so I think that in these patients, it's safe to, t to drink coffee, and, and even those patients who drank less coffee had some reduction in their risk of hospitalization for arrhythmias. But, but doctor, don't you find sometimes coffee, I mean, it, it, it amps somebody up, for lack of a better phrase. I know it's, it's non-medical, but don't you find sometimes there are some heart arrhythmias, little palpitations that could come as a result of that caffeine jolt? Well, patients often feel a sensation of stimulation from the caffeine in coffee. Uh, but the data would show that they're not really arrhythmias. They may feel palpitations, but there are no clinical arrhythmias that are noted. For example, the most common would be atrial fibrillation, and this study shows clearly that there are not additional hospitalizations for it. I think the good advice would be if, if it makes you feel uncomfortable, that you should reduce your caffeine intake. However, there's no evidence to support that it will increase your rate of hospitalization for arrhythmia. Okay. Well, doctor, I don't know if you can see this, but I'm going to go through this much coffee right here between now and noon. That's a fair Enjoy amount. It. <laughs> Thank you so much. I will do so now with your blessing. I appreciate that. Dr. Sahil Parikh there with the uh, Case Medical Center in Cleveland. Thanks.